So in this episode, I'm going to show you guys how to make your RPM work on the V6 swap because the stock Celica um, RPM PCB, um, you won't get a reading from it. If you guys did see my original videos, um, we wired the, the signal to the cluster correctly and we weren't getting any any sort of signal from this. So I was checking online and apparently you have to get a PCB from a 97 to 01 Camry. This is actually from a, from a 2000 um, Camry. And I went ahead and swapped that out. And what, what we're gonna do to make it work is add one of these right here. It's a pot basically and you get to adjust the values. Hopefully I'm saying that right. Focus, there we go. So that right there is a little adjuster you adjust and you make it to work with your RPM signal whenever um, you have full installed and working. You adjust it with that so that you can get the proper readings. But first, um, this is kind of a hacked up thing. I'm gonna make it where the wires come out from the back and make it look decent because right now they were coming out from from the front. If you guys saw my um, gauge cluster video, they were coming out from the front as we're how we were adjusting it. But I'm gonna make it so where it comes out from the back of the cluster and down into the 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 footwell so that I'm able to adjust it if I really need to. And first thing you want to take off is the three Phillips heads screws that are right here on the back the RPM side um, right here these you want to pull those out and the whole face comes off and so um, now you are with now you have this the silica one and you want to remove the needle to get the face off easiest way I found it is using a fork make sure you use a really really clean fork and not put apply a lot of pressure because you will scuff the the gauge face and you just put it underneath like that and just pop it up unless you're strong enough and you can use your fingers to pop off the needle but i have found a hard time doing that so i use the fork so i popped off the needle and then the face comes off it will come off. It's just, there's just a little bit of sticky double-sided tape on the back. I will show you guys in a bit. So there it goes. Remove the faceplate. And now we're going to take off these two screws to swap over the, the Camry PCB from the Celica one. As you can see, I already went ahead and did that. So now we discard the Celica one. We don't need it no more. So now focus our attention on the Camry one. We're going to go ahead and reinstall it to Phillips head. And we're gonna remove a resistor. There is a resistor right here on R8. No, not on Audi R8. <laughs> I wish it was, but actually, yeah, so Audi R8. <laughs> we're gonna remove the resistor that's there and we're gonna add these two wires. Um, I ended up soldering them from the back. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a better job at it and probably solder it from the front because that way it could clear the it, it could clear from the from the backboard so let's go ahead and do that Nuts. so i already started the wires and we're gonna go ahead and reinstall everything really easy stuff Nuts. use my ebay soldering station here so i got it installed already with the black piece and i got it come i got the wires coming out of here and knock your ass out of the way now onto this thing so we're gonna go ahead and reinstall the cluster and yeah, adjust the go. values. And I already went ahead and installed the gauge cluster. You can see. And when I was when I was putting back the, the RPM needle, um, what I ended up doing first was I hooked up my scan tool to the OBD2 port to get an idea of like a general idea as to where it was going to be the the rpms at so what i ended up doing was trying to, and excuse not having the steering wheel i'm in the process right now of upgrading to the the three spoke leather steering wheel and the four spoke i didn't want the four spoke but the three spoke requires a different clock spring and it's just a whole little mess um i need to get some other parts from a 99 celica but that's gonna be for another episode but for now let's start the car so Got the car started, and what you want to do is on your scanner, 
you want to go to where it shows values of like RPM and whatnot to base the the needle as to where you're gonna attach it first, and that's gonna be a, a good starting point. So we go into live data. We're gonna scroll down to where it shows RPM at. We'll view data first, complete data set, and then we're gonna go down to see where it says RPM. And there you go, RPM, 1100. It's about, it's about 1100 right there. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna rev to the point where it says right here like 2000 RPM. And if it's different right there, if it's either high or lower than 2000 RPM, whenever I rev it, I'm gonna come here and I'm gonna come here to my adjuster and adjust the this right here. I'm gonna adjust that and get it to land at 2000 RPM while I'm holding the gas, looking right here when it says 2000 RPM. So I'm gonna go to 2000. So you can see 2015, 93. So if we come over here, you can see it's at 2000. So I already did this off camera. I already adjusted it, but you're gonna wanna do that for pretty much every single one. You're gonna wanna do that for every single one. And that's the idea of how to, and that's how to adjust or how to get the RPM to work properly on your 1MZ Swap Celica. It's really easy. If you guys have any questions, just shoot me a DM on Instagram. I tend to reply a lot quicker on Instagram than on YouTube. But basically, look at the values here. Go to two, three, four in increments of RPM while holding the gas, coming over here and seeing if your, if your RPM needle is in the correct position and you adjust your values through this with the flathead screwdriver, either adjusting it up or down. I already got my RPM needle working pretty good. Um, you can see. So it's pretty good. Um, I'm happy, I'm satisfied. And the steering wheel episode is gonna be the next one. So stay tuned for that guys. Oh, and check out the, the new sh the shift boot and knob before I end the episode real quick. From Superclass, really, really sexy. A little piece of dirt right there or is that the lint from the microfiber that i got here but yeah that's um super class shift knob weighted with the shift boot and we're still gonna tidy up the interior um i still gotta finish up this right here but i gotta address other issues you guys already saw this episode where i installed these two right here so that's it for this video guys sorry about the glare for the sun it is sun it is sunset right now so um Another episode is going to be the clock spring situation. That's going to be a future episode. So stay tuned, guys. I got a lot of 1MZ content and an update video soon regarding the, the Celic itself as to its, um, um, I guess, current state, if you know what I mean. Yep. Big, big story time, guys. Big story time. Catch you guys later.